I don't know about y'all, but I have recognized a lot recently, especially the past few months, about this just shift of consciousness happening everywhere I go. And everybody I talk to around the world, I have a lot of friends in a lot of countries all over the planet, and everybody seems to be using these type of, like this language. You know, oh, that resonates with me. Oh man, I just, I had these thoughts and it came to be. You know, they're manifesting the lives that they wanted. Uh, my mother was a great example, how she said, well, I'm not gonna allow cancer to defeat me. And she did it homeopathically. And she even used the word manifested. And the word spiritual is just coming up all the time. Uh, how people are, uh, no matter what their religious beliefs, whether it's Christian, Buddha, Hindu, Muslim, whatever, I keep hearing these, this word, it's spiritual. There seems like there's a breaking free, an opening up of who and what we are. People saying intuition, oh, my gut feeling. Uh, the energetic forces, that's the word I like to use for God is the infinite intelligence. And I, I hear words like that a lot more. Vibrations and frequencies. It seems like everywhere I go, somebody is saying, man, that person had great vibes. Or, man, it really resonated with me. Or, you know, they hug and they go, oh, I really felt that. You know, I could, it, it, it's just an interesting thing that is happening. And people, it seems to me, more and more and more are not wanting the fake smiles. We're not wanting these masks, uh, the filters. And just for all of you ladies out there, no guy ever, ever, ever likes your filters on any social media. We don't like the little filter. We don't like your bunny rabbits or your eye things. Nobody likes it. Just let you know that. If it hurts your feelings, I'm sorry. It's not real. People want real. I, gotta, I can hug, where, where is uh, Tyler? Like I can hug Tyler and that is real. You know what I mean? Like it's a real feeling. When I hug Brad, it's real. Steve, Jim, like everybody out here, Matt. I mean, sometimes. But I mean, it's like, it's, and that's what we're craving. And it's becoming more and more and more and more. Do we feel, you know, when someone genuinely shares their struggles, like yesterday, we had a lot of that. A lot of us were talking about some of our personal things in our life. We were bringing up some of the things we struggled with in the past. And I find that to be refreshing because in most places that I go, whether it's been a, a church or just wherever, a lot of people want to shield themselves from that vulnerability because they're afraid of being judged. Uh, judge for something maybe that they're not. Um, and I'm not talking about sharing your struggles where you're like a nagging little whiny, you know, bitch. Look at me, look at me, I got all these problems. You know, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about genuine, authentic sharing. Like I, I have this thing, maybe you have an answer or, or some path to help me with that thing. And I think that is important. Like we're, we're craving it. We started saying, I see and hear you out here a lot over the past several months. I really never heard anybody say that. But once we started saying, it's like when you learn a new word, all of a sudden you hear that new word everywhere. I've started to hear that a lot. I see you. I'm like, really? <laughs> Good. It's glad to be seen. I love it. We are expanding not only ourselves, but we're expanding the consciousness that is around us. And it's happening and it's, it's palpable. Like you can feel it. And I feel it with people that I did not think I would ever feel it with before. I have been friends with this group of business guys since my mid twenties. And now they will come out here about once or twice a month. I would have never thought that was possible to meditate with some of these guys, like ever. Like they're just not those kind of people. Until recently, something just started happening to them. Yeah, I don't know. I hope I was some sort of influence in that, but I have no earthly idea. I asked Brad today to do our meditation 
with words like, hey, let's tell ourselves words matter. You know, I am powerful. I am loved. I am safe. I am secure. All these things that Brad was saying because they're important. The narrative we tell ourselves is vital. You know, if I say, well, I'm ugly, fat, and stupid, well, I'm going to probably stay ugly, fat, and stupid. You know, if I keep telling myself, man, I am, uh, I'm on my way to be super, super slim and healthy. I am smart. I am connected. I am loved. I am going to go out of my way to, to maintain and build relationships. Well, guess what? You're probably going to go out of your way to maintain and build relationships. If you tell yourself, nobody likes me, well, nobody's probably going to like you. <laughs> it's really, you're going to be seen, but they want to see you as you're walking away. Right. It is... It's something because the opposite is true. You know, like when you tell yourself that, the lies, distortions, all these pretending. It is something that we've been immersed in, our, all of us, our whole lives. And if we back up our words with actions, then we really bring power and meaning into who and what we are and the people we're around. And it is vital, like really, really vital. You know, we know what's fake is. How many people have we seen that had plastic surgery like this guy? You know, this, this is a kingmaker for people. You know, he, he makes people's dreams come true. And, and he's even fake. You know, they're, they're all fake. They're, we, we understand what masks are now. It's becoming more and more, more easy for us to see. We see people with plastic surgery because they're so insecure. You know, a guy like that that has hundreds of millions of dollars and uh, makes people successful, he still has to be fake. Well, maybe he just needs to come here and get a hug and let everybody know he's really seen. He's not, he doesn't have to pretend. We don't have to pretend. It's not necessary. There is this broader awareness. We don't have to hide. Being vulnerable is something that I feel like is so important. It's so vital because if I can like share with any of y'all, I've become pretty close to most of y'all and I feel like when we share these vulnerable things, you know, like whatever it is that I've ever shared with any of y'all and y'all share back, that, that strengthens that foundation. Like we're, it builds trust. Like me and Kyle have done a lot of that you know, recently. And the, the trust level, you can just feel it. It resonates. <laughs> I can feel it vibing. That is the foundation and just the juice and pleasure of life. It's just what we are. And we all have these. We all have these slices of us. I mean, we can all look in the mirror and know we've all made these crazy faces. We're goofy, sad, mad, pissed off, laughing, crying. We should embrace them all. We should not allow any of our slices like be the thing that we don't like. Like if we get pissed off easy, we should thank it. Like, hey, thanks. Thanks for popping up. I appreciate you. And let's sit with that and figure out why am I getting pissed off so easy. If I'm getting sad uh, or depressed, just, just as Brad says, just sit with it a little bit. For me, I kind of like to walk around. I'll pace around in my study. Most of y'all have been in the study. I'll just wear a hole on that floor. And that's kind of the way I sit with things. And it works. It does work. Well, it works for me. Some people really literally have to sit down and sit with it. You know, find your own way. But you have to address those feelings, all those different parts of us, so we can say, hey, thanks. And we can use our emotional intelligence to play on that. Because we are told, you know, to hide your emotions. Shut up crying, kid. Hurry up, move your ass, let's go. You know, I mean, that, that's just what we've been told. The bell rung, move your ass. You know, you don't have time for questions now. Your class is over. You know, I mean, we can begin to cultivate these feelings and emotions inside of us to be our friends and not automatically feel shame that we, we can't address them. Because we can't, especially when you're in trusted, safe places with people that aren't going to go just, you know, dumbass. I mean, nobody likes being called that. We all have. It's pretty stupid. It's really pretty stupid. But that global awareness is rising. It's coming. It's here. And the universe is giving us what we ask for. If you feed your consciousness with a frequency, like I am exploding out, I am, then you are. I am healthy. Well, you get what you ask for. We just get it. 
If you say, uh, like Pat, the new guy, he comes out, I, I feel welcomed here. I feel welcome. Well, guess what? He feels welcome. <laughs> Steve is my buddy. Steve always knows he's going to get a hug the first thing we see each other. We see each other. I probably see Steve more than well, except for Dean. Like, I see a lot of Steve. And we get what we ask for. I want to be Steve's close friend. So Steve wants to be my close friend. Guess what? We're close friends. And that's starting to happen with uh, some of y'all, even me and Thomas even. Like, it's fantastic. We just get what we give. If we want support, then we give support. If we want beautiful conversations, let's engage in beautiful conversations. If we want health, then take the effort to be healthy. The universe gives us what we give. I know everything that I've ever focused on in my life has came true, for good or bad, every single time. If I focus on the negative, well, the negative happens. If I focus on the positive, the positive always happens. There are no exceptions, never any time. And if we can always remember that, we can live in whatever state that we want. It's just our own conscious choice. It's our decision. It's our decision. The universe is, it knows the value we place on us. It's one thing if we say, well, I'm going to wake up and be positive today, but really, you know, you're lying to yourself. And you're like, no, I really know this is going to be one crappy day. Even though you may have read something or you practice in some meditation or modality, you're trying to break a pattern. But if you're still lying to yourself, you're still lying to yourself and the universe knows it. The universe knows it. I mean, I could give Jim a hug and not mean it. And Jim's going to know. It. Like, we're going to know. The universe is going to tell him I don't really like hugging him. And then it's going to come right back to me. And then I'm like, well, that didn't work. That's the way life is. If you don't think a, a business deal or your work, advancement in career, if you don't think it's going to happen, it's not going to, ever. If you don't think you're not going to be healthy, you're never going to be healthy. It's just the way things are. And it's not like some crazy rocket science sort of thing. <laughs> Thoughts are real. They are things. We talk ourselves into being whatever it is. It's not difficult. But just because that doesn't mean life is going to be a you know, bed of roses. There are not going to ever be potholes in the road. There are always going to be potholes in the road. I mean, especially since we live in a country that really doesn't fix potholes. You know, I mean, they're, they're, they're always going to be there. But if it's a beautiful day outside and you hit a pothole, well, oh, well, it's still a beautiful day. It's just still a beautiful day. And bumps are good. We can always ask ourselves, okay, what did I learn from that? You know, why, why did I do this? Why am I doing that? Why am I uh, drinking too much? Why am I smoking too much? Why, do I, why am I infatuated with uh, nonstop sex? Or, you know, whatever the story is that you have to fill your void, just sit with it, ask, hey, what's going on? And these conversations are becoming more and more and more and more everywhere. We're starting to hear the same thing, which really kind of fires me up and lets me, well, just gives me happiness because I'm running into more and more people that are on the same path of trying to understand themselves better, trying to open up, working on opening up, peeling off all these layers. Some layers I don't even think I have until one of them falls off. You know, I, I didn't even know I had a layer. You know, I'm like, oh crap, oh, there's another layer fell off. You know, I mean, I, you don't know. We just don't know sometimes. When you ask and you shall receive, we get exactly what we deserve, exactly what we deserve. And as a collective, we get a stupid ass government because that's what we are brainwashed into thinking we have left and right. We don't think outside of the box. It's stupid. We vote for these puppets. We uh, put people in, we kill people, we send war machines and mass destruction everywhere. And most people never even think about it. And we're a part of that collective. I don't like being a part of that collective. I, it's kind of like uh, I really love uh, a couple of my brothers but I like loving them from over there. You know, it's like what I'm starting to do with how I feel about government because I've always been pretty involved. And I'm like, nah, I'm going to love you from over there and I'm going to send you good vibes. Good luck. And all you other jokers can go vote if you want to. Like, that makes a difference. Um, you know, my, this is something personal that I've been working on. My dad gave me a lot of angst and I talked about it a few weeks ago. 
uh, it's one of the problems, not I wouldn't consider it a problem, but uh, I get really irritated if somebody's late. Like it just, just cannot, like it rubs me all over the wrong way. And it should rub everybody really the wrong way because that means they're not respecting your time and they're not showing up, not being responsible. I get that. But mine goes like a step over because my dad was always late and he was really, uh, and often never showed up. So it really pisses me off. And I'm starting to understand that. And sometimes I'll attempt to sit with it or I'll walk around in my study thinking about why that happens. And then I ended up, I'll end up working myself into being more pissed off. And which is, then I start laughing. And that's part of this whole self-awareness and this uh, understanding of ourselves because then I, I realize what I'm doing. I'm like, okay, this is really funny. You're, you're walking around to sit with it, to not be pissed off about it, but you start getting more pissed off and then, you, then it becomes comical. You know, you just start like, all right, that's pretty funny. And we have to learn how to recognize these things and laugh at ourselves too, because we have to laugh. Like laughing is great. We just need to laugh. And we have to laugh and honor that inner child inside of us. Like it's so important. Like uh, some of the things we did uh, yesterday, for those of you sitting on your couch at home, uh, we had this ecstatic dance that was fantastic and we were all playing around like kids last night. And it was really cool. Most people don't play like kids. You know, like when we have uh, drawings that we're, we're gonna paint in a couple of weeks, everybody out, like none of us can really paint. Uh, you know, I'm telling that to you, but my paintings are awesome. <laughs> I mean, you might not really like it. Jill's paintings are, have gotten really good. Uh, but it's fun. It's fun to sit around and laugh and play and not forget that, you know, I'm 52, but I still have an inner kid. And I want that inner kid to thrive. And I want it to connect with everybody else. Because just because uh, some people are uh, old and feeble doesn't mean that they don't want to be a child too. They don't want to laugh like a kid. And most of them don't because they're wearing those masks. Ah, it's just silly. We shouldn't be silly. And we have to recognize, I believe, that we are the awakening. Every time we run into somebody new, every time we run into a new, introduced to a new friend, whenever we give off those vibes, it lets them know that, hey, there, there, are, there is some genuine love in the world. You know, I mean, none of us are perfect. I mean, I got a problem being a little too serious sometimes, and I come off a little brash sometimes. Well, at least that's what my mom says, and I, you know, I love you, I love you too. <laughs> yeah, so, I, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. So we, if we're aware of ourselves enough and aware of the vibe we're giving to others, that's how we change the world for the better, like one person at a time. And if they don't want to be receptive, if we don't resonate, you know, we're not, that's okay. Hey, I did my part. I can go, I can go hug Tyler. You know, I mean, it's going to, that's the way it is. And our actions are magical. Our intentions are magical. Everything we set into motion is from our mind. So we can just, whatever path we want in this life, we can get it. Yeah, you know, like my wife, Jill, is a great example of this. You know, she's a, she has like 50 kids and... Uh, <laughs> And, I mean, they're, they're five. And, but she was a single mom and, and put herself through nursing school to be able to support those kids. Like, she had it in her mind. You know, like, she intended, I'm going to make sure my kids are awesome and they're going to be taken care of while I am struggling and doing those things. Like, we can, there are thousands, millions of examples of that type of thing, being in that mindset and just going, setting your intentions. I'm going to set my intention with my relationship. You know, if you're not getting along good with your wife, try to sit down and talk to her. Don't try. Sit down and talk to her. See if she's receptive. See if it resonates. Sometimes it will. Sometimes it won't. You know, shit. Sometimes you just don't want to be talked to, but you might want to be talked to the next day, you know, or later that night. Th those are just the things that, that happen. And everything is in our mind. You have a definite chief aim. You do more than what you're paid to do, and all of a sudden life just really, really, really works out in your favor. It is amazing how that works. And if we just recognize that sometimes our power leaks out, and we can plug it. We have time leaks, we have emotional leaks, we have physical leaks, financial leaks, spiritual leaks. 
when we start to become more self-aware, we say, oh, you know what? Do I really need to buy that thing? You know, if you're talking about you have financial troubles, but then you want to, you can't get off of Amazon. You know, are you, you're just wasting time. Like, man, I wish I really would have read that book or I wish I'd know this thing, but you spend every night watching a movie on Netflix. Well, that's a leak. Just cut it out. Like you don't need to. I mean, watching funny movies is great sometimes, but you know, is it necessary every day? I mean, we need to recognize our leaks so we can plug them. So we can plug them. And our thoughts can leak. <laughs> we can let in these negative forces and this crap. And we don't have to. We just don't have to. We are the awakening. And it is beautiful. It is awesome to see. It is awesome to be alive in this time because we have so much chaos everywhere. But then I see all of y'all beautiful people and there's so many everywhere I go. I'm like, okay. I mean, of course there's still assholes everywhere and that's okay. That's okay. It's okay because we are changing people and bringing love in their hearts and bringing hugs to people one person at a time. And I think we are. We're waking up people. We're waking them up in a better, just a better place. And we are all seeking these safe places and trusted friendships and being in places where we have non judgmental people. It is beautiful. And I just thank y'all for being a part of today and being a part of last night and being here. It is just a fantastic experience for me because in my mind, six years ago, I knew this was going to happen. This was going to be a safe, trusted place for people to gather. I knew that was going to happen. And it continues to happen every single week. And people come out here and use this place. And y'all are all invited because I know most of y'all watching are within about an hour or so radius. Everybody is welcome. You are welcome. You are not alone. And you are loved. Well, shit now, I'll cry. <laughs> See y'all later. <laughs>